I kind of uh, heard a sound and I looked over and I saw him on the ground and he just had his arm up and I thought he broke his arm. All of a sudden he just started turning blue and so I grabbed my grandma's phone, called 911 and I asked the lady on the phone, do I need to do CPR? And she asked me, do you know how to? And I said, yeah. Right before we went home for this Christmas break, my senior year, I got an email saying if you wanted to recertify and I knew that that would be a good thing because um, I want to keep working in the healthcare field and it was fresh in my mind and I knew what to do and I felt like more confident than what I ever probably could have been. I remember them asking us which hospital they wanted us to take them to and um, just knowing that my mom works here in the first place and then also knowing like how my mom talks about this place. We all knew that he needed to go to Grundy and once we walked in here, um, one of the ladies that was there um, on the scene came up to us and kind of talked us through and then the lady at the front desk was very calm, very willing to answer our questions that we needed because my grandma had a lot of questions and obviously wanted to know what was going on, how he was doing. They felt very safe and very helpful and very calm which was needed in that situation and then we were able to even go in and talk to him, my grandpa, and the doctor came out and talked to us. I felt a sense of peace, you know, in knowing what care he was getting here in, in at Grundy County Memorial Hospital's emergency room and the care that was going to be, um, he was getting over at Allen um, Hospital in intensive care.